Hello adventures. This is I'm a Dr. Nada. I want to make your mods stand out even more or just make something completely wild for yourself. Today we're going to learn how to make custom feats for Baldur's Gate 3, specifically a Fallout themed one. This is a to the point but complete tutorial. Hit that subscribe button to keep yourself connected to creativity. And for my subscribers, this will likely be my last Baldur's Gate 3 video until the official modding tools are released in September, as I'm moving next week and will be starting my new job the week after. To make this as easy as possible for you all, we'll do most of this using the modding software that I developed, Polymer. I'll mention other tools like the Baldur's Gate 3 modders multi-tool where relevant. Refer to my video in the video description to learn how to download and install what's required for running Polymath. For step one, launch Polymath. For step two, make a custom spell following the videos that I placed in the video description. For the spell, we're gonna use the Fireball of Democracy spell from my Vault Dweller mod. For step three, create a new class mod using the video from step two. Customize it however much that you want, like giving yourself 20 spell points. For this video, give yourself your custom spell, also ticking the box for fast level. This will make testing your feet a lot easier. Also tick the box to include the files required for the custom feats, which we're gonna need. For step four, we're gonna make the necessary in-game edits for your mod. We wanna do three things. Rename our feet, ensure that it gives our spell when selected, and then give it the name and description that you want to show up in-game. For part one, renaming our feet. Open up the feet descriptions file at the following path, but you can keep everything the same here and get things working. Let's understand what we have here. You have handles that give the feet a custom name and description, a feet ID, and a UUID. These fields are all relevant for linking your feet with the required information. I'd recommend that you have fun with the name even if only you are likely to see it. For part two, ensuring that our spell is given when the feat is selected, open up the feats file in the same directory. The fields are pretty self-explanatory here. You want the name to be the same as in the feat descriptions file. You can then give the passive that you want, which will ultimately provide the spell that we want to give. So the glorious fireball of liberty. I'll go over that next. The critical piece here is that we need the UUID in this file to match the feat ID from the feat descriptions file. Continuing on part two, let's ensure that our passive gives us the spell that we want. Open up feet, passive.txt in the stats folder at the path on the screen. The key fields here are going to be the name of the passive, which we refer to in feats.lsx. You also want to keep track of the handles for the display name and the description. So the passive is a little bit more clear on what exactly it's giving your player. Boost field is where you give yourself or the player the spell, which is spelled out using unlock spell. Put in the name of the spell that you want to unlock there. Here we provide the spell code name from the custom spell file. So it should work with vanilla and other custom spells that you made. With the vanilla spells being neatly organized into one of the data tables I made for polymath in the data slash spell table .xl file. Part three is the last step in getting our custom feat appropriately coded. This is the most fun part where you get to decide how your feat is going to show up in game. Don't close any of your text editors just yet because we're going to need the handles for the localization file. So go to the root folder for your mod and then open up the localizations file following the appropriate paths as shown on the screen. We need to add our handles along with the in-game text. Paste the handles so your feet and passive onto new lines in the localization file along with your desired description. Enter something like vault froze me for 200 years and all I got was this silly spell. Like all my tutorials and software, I made the next step a lot more accessible for you. Rather than you having to figure out how to use lslib to relocalize your files so those handles and the descriptions show up, I created an executable that will do it for you. For step five, go back to your root directory and double click on the rerun localization.bat file. This will update your localization file and make it readable for the game. If you have any issues with things showing up, it makes a log file that you can refer to and post in a comment on the video. For step six, package your mod using the Boulders Gate 3 Modders Multi-Tool. Drag the folder onto the blue box, and then decompress it to have your pack file. For step seven, we test. Drag the pack file into the Boulders Gate 3 Mod Manager, then save us so you get experience to level up and test your feet, and then proceed to level up to level four. You should see your new feet
feet at the bottom of the feats page. Select it and level up. If you go back to the game, you'll see that now you have your custom spell. Now you have what you need to add even more customizability to your mod. In this case, bringing the wasteland to Baldur's Gate. Feel free to share your custom feats in the comments below and tell me the crazy or absolutely immersive things that you make. Then hit the like and subscribe button to stay connected to more modding guides and making very immersive content. It's what my channel's about. Thanks for watching and Starship out. I fought too hard to win my freedom. I will not give it up again, no matter how much it hurts.